remember you. Yes, I was going to ask Mr. Quinn why he insists on putting us and the rest of the world on, sir. Some might be persuaded to doubt his sincerity. Who said I was sincere? Well, don't you think the public perception of your work has significantly altered in the last five years? That's your first question? I thought this was supposed to be a puff piece. Should we come back to it? Well, if you've had money your entire life, even if you despise it, which we do, agreed? You're only truly comfortable around other people who have it and despise it. If I die, you take care of the kids. Especially, Mike, you really need to do. You're not gonna die. You can't die, you just can't. Don't you ever leave them again. I've met someone, I've fallen in love, and I'm moving out. If I could make it any more gentle, I would. But I can't, so... There we both are. When do you find out about the bank? This afternoon. You told Janelle you got the loan approved already. Yeah? Did you tell her any different? No. The past is right here. It's right here. For God's sake, you are still my Elizabeth. Not your Elizabeth. I am no man's Elizabeth. And if you think to rule, you are mistaken. You'll be a father for as long as you can. I know the consequences. I've accepted that. Loving you was worth everything to me. You are a ring bearer, Frodo. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. This task was appointed to you. And if you do not find a way, no one will. I can't just do some mindless job. I was forced to take a job selling shoes on Madison Avenue. Oh, so humiliating. Friends I'd had at dinner parties, our apartment came in and I waited on them. I mean, do you have any idea what that's like? No. One minute you're hosting women, and the next you're measuring their shoe size and fitting them. Erica Bishop came into the store. She saw me. It was so embarrassed for me. She slipped out thinking I didn't see her. I saw you, Erica! Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs>